Hey guys, Bisky here with another new video. So today we're doing part 15 on how to make a FNAF fan game on Scratch. Now this is going to be the final part, but I'm going to do some, like, I guess, bonus tutorials on like how to get your game popular and stuff like that. And for this tutorial, we're going to be doing a phone call on multiple nights. So I think I'll just start out with the phone call. So what you want to do is you want to make a new sprite. Just call it something like phone call, just because it makes sense. Now what you want to make is a simple button. It doesn't matter what it looks like at all. It just needs to be a button. Looks something like this. Add some text that says mute. So this is the mute call button. Mute. There. Of course, make the text bigger to how you want it to look like. Just look that a little too big. There. Okay, now what you want to do is that's pretty simple, but this actually comes into the coding part. You want to go when flag is clicked, hide, and then go to wherever, whatever position you want to. And if your button's a bit big, I recommend setting the size to 50%. Just like that. So set size to 50%, go to, let's just say, put in the top corner like that. Let's say 195 on the X and 159 on the Y though just like that and now what you want to do is you want to put forever go to front and then what you're gonna also do is you're gonna be like when I receive office show go to front just like that now what you're gonna do is you're going to now make a phone call which is very simple so go to sounds go to this little icon down here that says choose a sound except when you click on it you see this pop-up icon that says record you wanna click record and then if you click this it will just start recording your microphone just like this so just hello hello this is your job no that's just gonna be a really bad phone call of course make sure to record a better one than that let's save it doesn't matter what you call the sound you can call it phone call or whatever you want now what you want to do is you want to hit, you want to get play sound, start sound recording one when I receive office. So it starts playing it, as you can tell right here. This is your job. Just like that. And now what's pretty simple about this though is you want to make sure to set volume to 100% so you can actually hear it. Um, <laughs> Then what you're going to do is you're going to go when the spread is clicked, hide, set volume, to zero. So if you see here how it's playing. Okay, so now if you've done that code just like this, your phone call should work pretty fine. Now, that's pretty much it for the phone call aspect, actually. It is fairly simple. It's not a big part of the game whatsoever, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So what you want to do now, if this is getting into the second part of the tutorial where we want multiple nights. So for multiple nights, this is kinda ish hard, so create a new sprite call this codes, so we're gonna do a th system where you have to enter a code to unlock a knight and the code will be given once you beat the previous knight so just like this, make a little button there and just put the text codes, just like this codes, of course make it to fit the screen, just like that There, and now what you want to do is you want to go into the code section and when flag is clicked, hide, go to wherever you want to go, and for this case again I'm going to set the size to 50%, just like that. Set size to 50%, forever, go to front, and then just like that, and put it wherever you want, for now it's to say zero, 0,0. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go when I receive menu show go to front now what you want to do is you are going to go when the sprite is clicked if and then else and now what you're going to do is this is where you make a code for the night so if you want like let's say the night one code when you beat it to be like something like alone or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to go into sensing right here and we're gonna go ask 
please enter the code. And it's gonna be if and then we have this if and then else, it's gonna be if and then and so equals whatever your code was, so let's just say it was hi. <laughs> just like that. So if and then answer equals code broadcast whatever night you want. So in this case night two since we haven't done night two, so night two. Just like that. Now then if else we're gonna say go to looks and then it's gonna say sorry but that's the wrong code. Now this is for if they get the code wrong. Sorry, but that's the wrong code. Okay, just like that and say it for like two seconds or whatever. Now that's fairly simple for this. But what you also want to do is create a variable called nights. Just like this. And this variable at the start of the game we're just gonna set to one and make it hide. So set variable nights to one since it's the first night and we're gonna go hide variable nights as well. And in this case when we receive night two we're gonna set it nights to two. Just like that. So that's gonna set the night to two which makes sense because it's night two. Now to do this what we could also do is we don't necessarily need this night two broadcast now so we can just make it broadcast office. Now here's where it gets harder. So if you want to make the nights harder than the previous one, so night 2 would be harder than night 1, you have to go into the animatronic AI that you made and make a pretty ish hard thing. So go like this. Where you found your animatronics code, where you put if and then, and then put equals, and then put nights, equal 1. So this is if the night equals 1, it will do this. And this is if, and then we're gonna do an if night equals 2. So if night equals 1. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this code right here, change it to 2, so nights equals 2. And let's see what's make to move a little bit more. So let's say 15 to 30 seconds. He moves 15 to 30 seconds now. And we can do that here. Night equals 2, 15 seconds to 30 seconds. Now, that's just how you make the animatronics a little bit harder, like, because they'll increase and get harder throughout the night. And that's pretty simple, and that's basically how you do multiple nights. Now, if you want to do a phone call for night 2, just be like, if if you want to do a phone call for night two, put an if and then night equals one for the night one phone call, night equals one, duplicate it and just record a new sound, the, aka the night two phone call like this, hello, hello, and then just save it. And if it equals night two, instead of playing the night one phone call, play the night two phone call. That's pretty much all you do for the phone calls and stuff like that, if you want to do multiple phone calls throughout the nights and make them harder. And that's pretty much all you do. Now, one thing you do want to make sure so the player actually knows the code to enter in is when you beat the game, when you beat night one, you want to make sure it shows the code. Be like, let's say, let's make the text white here. Code, oops, code, and then hi. Just like that. So you want to put that there just, just to make sure. You've done just to make sure you've done everything. Just to make sure the player knows what they're doing. And now you want to go switch. You want to put switch costume and costume one in this you win code, but make sure to put only if and then night equals one. Now, if you want to do multiple nights, just duplicate this costume right here, so it's goes costume two, and replace the code with the night three code, something like. Day or whatever. And now you want to duplicate the U win code, just change it to, and then just change the night to night two, and then the costume to costume two. Now that's pretty much how you do multiple nights, and if you do want to do more than two nights, of course, just keep doing night three, night four, night five, night six, night seven, what, however much you want, and just keep changing the animatronics AI to be more aggressive, keep changing the phone call, and change, of course, change the U-Win screen to correspond to the night. 
And that's pretty much it on how you do multiple nights. Now that's it for the tutorial series. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've made a playlist for all the tutorials if you want to go rewatch them or follow up on them. And anyway guys, on that note, bye!